welcome back everyone to another unboxing and this is sort of a early look um, today we are taking a look at something that was launched at Linaro Connect Bangkok 2019 it's the SOM spec base board so the first one that launched and uh, we'll take a look at all the com components that we get in the kit now things might change a lot by the time this product is actually released this is like a pre-production release thing uh, and and we are just kind of um, showing that off in this video uh, this is not the actual release product from what I've been told uh, you do get a nice little heat sink um, and we'll go through all the all the things that are inside this uh, this kit so taking everything out this is our SOM spec board um, you open that up there we go so this is our first look at the actual board and uh, so it's a rock chip rk3399 pro which is the unit with an M npu on board so that gives you a lot of uh, neural network power now the board itself is based uh, around the enterprise edition spec so you can see it says enterprise edition right there and uh, the actual SOM is based on the SOM spec and we'll take the SOM out and take a closer look at that so let's take the SOM out and see how easy it is to we'll take it out actually pretty easy uh, you get your uh, 4x um, this is the full size SOM there is also a smaller SOM variant uh, that you can make with just the two uh, just the two slots instead of the four slot and this is the uh, this is a full size SOM I think it has like 4 gigs of RAM I'm not sure about what the eMMC spec uh, is on this one uh, we did see a small demo during connect as well of this running so this is the base board you have your 2x4 PCIe slots uh, again the, all the PCIe connectors are on the SOM itself and then you also have a bunch of dip switches this is what we were sort of discussing at connect is that the amount of dis dip switches is insane because a lot of the stuff here is multiplexed to again this is to really show what the SOM spec can do so a lot of the stuff here is multiplex according to the spec so you can go ahead and turn things on and off like Wi-Fi and stuff like that because sometimes Wi-Fi is multiplex with other things um, and um, so you have a bunch of dip switches here you also have a bunch of dip switches at the back so literally everything can be controlled you have an SD card you have a sim card slot and an SD card slot I think that's micro SD and that's like the full size sim card slot uh, you have a mini PCIe slot here uh, and then you have the standard 96 volts header uh, so you can actually plug a proper mezzanine with the uh, with the high speed expansion as well as the low speed expansion you have the uh, 12 volt uh, power in uh, put here and uh, you have an HDMI port, a USB type C port, um, an Ethernet port, a USB 3 port and on that this side you have another Ethernet gigabit port and two USB 3 ports um, so that should give you plenty of IO uh, and then this is your, uh, your board itself so I'm guessing that the heatsink goes over here like that uh, looks like we are missing a pad but um, I hope when it actually releases uh, we'll make sure that you do get a thermal pad with it as you can see how these slots are keyed at one position and they are exactly the same position on the other end so this means when you turn it around it won't actually fit in the SOM uh, baseboard uh, and it will only fit one way so uh, again that was a very con conscious uh, decision that was made um, otherwise uh, things would have gone bad if people started slotting it in the other way around just line it up and push it down and there it's all slotted in all right so if you do have a few um, you do get two antennas with it I'm just trying to find where they go looks like uh, we have our ports here so the two small ports here uh, house the antennas these would just go i don't know if they are separate for 2.4 and 5 doesn't say so so i guess they are using the same antenna 
and uh, you can just assemble them by plugging the smaller uh, coax here like so that goes in clicks in really neatly and uh, the other one that goes in and then you get to so another interesting note on these antennas is the one that I have here at least has like a screw terminal so I can put this inside a case and have the antenna pop out from a hole and then you know just uh, screw in the antenna on the case and it stays like that so just a small side note there just like that and so does the other one and there you go so uh, the next sort of uh, there are a few more interesting things you have an RTC clock um, in built so all you need to do is provide a cell there uh, you have multiple um, ports so this looks like this is for the Raspberry Pi LCD uh, compatible you have the Raspberry Pi cam uh, port as well so that's compatible uh, at least electronically uh, this moment uh, you have uh, speaker port so it looks like an onboard speaker like you would have on a PC um, you have a rock chip LCD apparently they have their own interface there that's there as well of course you will have MIPI and DSI on the high speed header like all the 96 boards you have uh, two CAN bus uh, ports so CAN1 and CAN2 on this uh, 3.2.5 uh, mm header pin and you will also have uh, a UART port there either four LEDs so the U U UART is over USB so you don't have to add your own uh, UART to USB things um, yeah a lot of other small things you have a couple of JTAG uh, ports here so we have one for the MCU one for the application processor you have your key switches here you can also route uh, your own buttons uh, again if you are building it in a case like form factor because they do give power reset and ground uh, pinouts here uh, so you can have it on your uh, on like a desktop case uh, you have a couple of uh, regular like a phone camera ports here as well there there's a fan port which i'm really interested in because uh, i don't want to have this thermal throttle just run it at full power whenever possible Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep a close look because we'll be powering this on very soon and we'll take a look through what the software is like. Again, it's going to run Linux and Android. I will see you all in the next one. More unboxings to come, uh, more project videos to come. Stay subscribed, visit Open Hours every Thursday 4 p.m. UTC on this YouTube channel. We do a live stream where we talk tech and uh, talk 96 boards and the stuff thank you everyone for watching i'll see you in the next one